an exclusive interview with LRMOnline.com, David Ellison from Skydance Productions has revealed they have hired writer Zach Dean to pen a new script for Star Blazers, a movie based on the Japanese anime show that ran for three seasons from 1979 to 1984. The movie has been in development for six years now and has Mission Impossible 6 writer-director Christopher McQuarrie attached to direct. Speaking about the update at the press junket for Life, Ellison said, We actually just hired Zach Dean to write the script and we are working on it for it to be Christopher Macquarie's next movie after Mission Impossible. Chris has been working on the film for a long time. It's something that we've loved and been passionate about for years. John Byersell, the new writer for Star Blazers, and are you excited to hear Christopher Macquarie is still attached to direct? I think we just broke the news that Ridley Scott is directing the new <laughs> Star Blazers. Hey, that sounds awesome. Um, I... That's a joke, by the way. Yes. <laughs> that is a joke. <laughs> Please note that is a joke. Yeah. Some guy clown penis dot fart, right? <laughs> um, I I honestly cannot words cannot express how excited I am about this. I have been calling and begging for years that we get a Star Blazers, aka Space Battleship Yamato, live action North American big budget movie. I've been asked for a long time. The whole notion that a Christopher McQuarrie would be attached to this. No, not the guy who did the Star Wars sketches, Jeremy. Um, but <laughs> I, I, I am giddy. This could be the next Star Trek. You know, this could be. Um, I mean, seriously, this is such a, the, the original anime series is so great. And it's not just great in its time. This is a story that would do very well today with today's movie going audience so i'm super pumped for me it's a massive buy mark just based on the story right now i think it's a good call because it seems like a time in the culture when people are more welcoming of properties that were really popular at least began to have their iteration in the late 70s 80s even like it's something like 90s with power rangers like people have a sense of nostalgia with this but they also have never let it go and even this had, i think had a reboot in japan a couple of years ago so yes. it's still in the culture and it's ripe it seems like fertile ground to make a movie i'm not going to call it the next star trek yet because i know nothing about it but christopher mcquarrie i like what he's done with mission impossible the jack reachers not so much so I can't get that excited about it just yet. Jeremy. Yeah, I know so little about this property. I was that close to actually thinking it was an alien tie-in when that graphic <laughs> came up. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oops. Uh, but uh, I, if it's the next Star Trek, that's great. I hope it's Wrath of Khan more than uh, Final Frontier. But I don't know a lot about it. But the director, I like I, with you, I like what he did with Mission Impossible. So I'm at least optimistic about it. It seems to have, uh, from your description and the director, everything going for it to possibly be another Star Trek. That's great. I can, I'll more sci-fi. Um, I'm going to buy it because kind of going back to what we were talking about with Green Lantern is that Macquarie attached the fact that it is a it, it takes I'm a sucker for <laughs> stuff in space. So I, I, and the fact that you say it could be a new Star Trek. That's interesting to me. I like the team that's involved. I know nothing about it, but it sounds interesting. So I'll buy it. 